nice to tag your face so today I'm wearing my actual thing from the hall on my top. So today I'm gonna be doing my December favorites. See what I did there? Yeah, I know I, I know it's December, but I just said that because I thought about I think that's really funny, December. Never mind, I just thought that was really funny and I'd always say December this month because it sounds cool. So yeah, so um, this month I have all of my favorites except for my food favorites and some just random favorites, but most product favorites are in this Santa hat. See, and they're actually overflowing. And my phone, you know, I always have my phone just in case I'm to So yeah. So I'm pretty sure I only have one thing in this bag that I got on Christmas, but that's because it's a favorite and I've been using it for a week. But I just decided to include that and I'm pretty sure I only have one thing I got for Christmas. The rest I've been using all month. So let's get started. So the first product, no questions. This is the L'Oreal Kids Tangle Tamer for wet and dry hair. So it's basically a tangle tamer, which means that um, after you shower, just when your hair is just tangly, it gets it out. And what I really like about this is because I've been using this all month. I got it at the beginning of the month. And I really like it because um, it doesn't make your hair greasy or um, or like it doesn't make it oily or anything after the product. You've been spraying it a lot. It's, I don't know what's in this like it says, but you know, it's like a conditioner. And I usually use it after I take a shower. And it smells kind of like um, watermelons. So I really like this. Next thing is this, and this is the hairbrush that I got in my stocking. So this is the Love and Beauty by Forever 21 hairbrush, and I really like this hairbrush. And I'm weird. So it has like the purple balls at the um, end of the spikes. And I really like it because it has a little comb. So when you put your hair in a ponytail, you can just put it down. And I just recently found this out. It's a comb and it's just at the end of the hairbrush, which is really cool. And this is what I got for Christmas and I was using it a lot. So, and it's been like one of my favorite brushes because that is just like, whoa. The next product is this handy dandy EOS lip balm. And I've been loving this, this EOS lip balm and it's from the Alice in Wonderland collection because I don't know, I try not to wreck it too much because all my other ones are flat, so I tried like using as much of it as I could. And it's my favorite. This one is in Sweet Vanilla Nonsense. My favorite's actually Blueberry Potion, but I like the vanilla part of this one because, I don't know, vanilla reminded me of Christmas, so I really like this and it's cute. So the next thing is this Nivea Hydro Care Lip Balm. And I, I really like this lip balm because it's kind of like soft lips. It really feels like soft lips. It doesn't um, have any color to it. So if you like ski or something in the snow and you your lips get trapped, this is really useful and I do ski. So um, it smells really good. Like I can't really explain the smell. It kind of smells like wart marshmallows. And it's just perfect and I have some soft lips but I don't know I really like this because it's, it feels really moisturizing and it never cracks your lips like my lips are never cracked because of this next thing on my lip list not lips Akita. okay it's the dream fresh BB cream and a lot of people have been talking about this and everyone's like it's my favorite I love this and it's mine too and I'm, I'm just not saying that because people say I just have been using this for a long time I got it back in like September ish and I didn't use it that much I usually did I usually didn't I had others but for this month I really like this cream and I did a New Year's tutorial where I used this but I didn't I decided not to upload it because um, I ended up curling my hair on camera and stuff and that was like a 12 minute video of me just curling it and I didn't really want to upload that whole clip to my thing and if I left that out that ruined the whole video so I just decided not to do it. I still have that on my camera and if you want to see it, oh no you can't because it's not even done, I didn't finish it. But yeah, so this is the BB cream and then this one is in the medium sheer tint. 
it's the medium color. It's they have darker and they have lighter, but I got the medium because I thought it would match my skin tone better. So that's the BB cream and it has SPF too, but right now I don't need it. So I picked this up right after my BB cream. Why not? Okay. So this is the Revlon Photo Ready, and for me this is like a foundation slash a primer because this is what I use it for. It doesn't. It says like. It doesn't really say, it's just like the cream, and it's also kind of like, I use it before any makeup, it just settles my face, it's really like, it's really light, I'm not kidding, I'll do even a swatch, this thing is really light, see it doesn't look really light, but then I'm going to put it on my hand, and I'm just going to smudge it all in, it gives your, like it might not show up very good on my hand, but um, on your face, I don't have it on right now because I don't have any makeup on right now. It's New Year's, so I mean, we were in our pajamas for a long time. We were just like calling family, celebrating love. Okay, so I don't have any makeup on right now. So, um, so this gives it like a really light vampire even look because it's really white almost. So I use this as my primer because I really like it because because it gives white and then when you put something over it goes with the flow and I, I like this. I used to hate it so if I ever ever said I hated this on camera, yes I did because I never, I'm so dumb and I never thought of using it as a face primer. I would always just put it on and I'm just like this is too light. Yeah. Next majigger on my list is the Bath & Body Works Hand Sanitizer Vanilla Bean Noel. The case is new if you saw my haul, but you know, I'm talking about the actual hand sanitizer. So this is Vanilla Bean Noel, and I really love this scent. Like, this is my all-time favorite Bath & Body Works scent, but this hand sanitizer has been my go-to for the whole month. So this is Vanilla Bean Noel. This is Pink Chiffon, and Pink Chiffon is more like a spring-type smell. And it's more like... I felt like I used this a lot in the summer, but I've used a lot of it this month. I don't know why, because a lot of people have gotten it for me for Christmas, and um, Pink Chiffon is my absolute, when it's not Christmas, favorite Bath & Body Works smell, and everybody knows that because they bought me hand gels, lotions, and everything, um, Pink Chiffon, so I'm guessing a lot of people know that. So this is Pink Chiffon, and it has been my favorite body lotion for this month. We want to nail polish it. This is the Sally Hansen Hard Ass Nails Extreme Wear and uh, 220 Celeb City. I'm not gonna fuck. No, I don't like this. So this is Celeb City and I really like it because it has kind of like for me a snowflake feeling because it's um, it's like a silvery color and I feel silver is like a really pretty snowflake color and I've had this for a really long time but it didn't match me in the summertime and it still didn't dry out so I'm obsessed with it not drying out. I love it and it's really pretty and if it does dry out because I tried to use it right now I have a really pretty manicure on that I did at my friend's house so I really don't wash this off yet but I, I'm, I've been trying to have this on my nails a lot of pink colors and whites so that's this. Part of this clip, I'm gonna record all my other favorites. So this has been my favorite top coat slash beer coat because I've tried a lot of Sally Henson ones and they were really they really dried up quick. And I bought this in the summertime when we were on vacation, I can remember in the summertime, and it's the perfect clear coat. Like it leaves no lumps, it dries really quick, that's why it's called quick dry top coat. Um and it's by Revlon and it just really quickly dries, so I love that. I'm pretty sure I included some other nail washes. And that's exactly sure. Okay, so this is also a Revlon color and I love this color, like it's dark, it's December is dark slash light because if you live where it snows, it's light, but usually December gives a cold feeling. So this is like a really pretty purple color and I've been loving this so much. The only day that really lightens December is Christmas, Christmas Eve, and the jolly time. But at the beginning, it's just a month and it's... And this is an Implo Impulsive. I don't know if that's how you read it, but I hope it is. And I really love this color and I recommend it. Well, it's already January, but these are my December favorites. Um, again, my January favorites might change. I may not be in love with this nail polish anymore, but I don't know. I think I have a little more. I'm pretty sure. Okay, yeah, I think this is my last one. This is the Jumpy Nail Polish. And I got this in Poland, so I have no clue if it's available here. And I really like it because I love matching it up with, with my um, silvery color. And I have a color really similar to this one on right now, but um, I really like it. And this is not a Canadian brand or... So yeah, so let's move on to the next product because that's all my nail polishes for this month. Please, you can see they all pretty much go together. You can use them all in the same manner. Next favorite lip balm, for me it's more like um, a lipstick kind of, I don't know, I don't wear lipstick, so this is just the Revlon Lip Butter, and I thought it would be more pigmented, but it wasn't, so I was really upset, and I really wanted to, I know there's like a few colors that are like red, burgundy colors, and those are really pigmented from the, the set of Revlon Lip Butters, and this is just in cupcake, I 
gift to others. I have um, cupcake sugar frosting and a purple one and I can't get in my head right now. But this is this pink one and it's really pretty. And I find that um, I don't have any pigmented one and I always take this one because to the end of the world and purple on my lips I thought it looked good but it's just sheer and it just goes funky. So I have to say that this ruffle looks better than me. Next, I want to guys this So I had a channel first called Chilo Style. That was my baby channel and got she Style. And got she Style I deleted and I had a subscriber because I didn't want a baby channel and now I do. And I have one and I have to get a lot of subscribers on this one. Anyways, I did a haul and I got this on my channel because it's actually deleted. The video's deleted. So this is the um, new paint with the splash. This one night. This one night. And um, this is not new anymore. When I got it, it was because it's a year old. This, um, this scent. Sorry. Okay, so, I don't know, when this smells, it gives me the winter smell, I don't know how, but this just smells like winter, all bunched up, and fun, fun type things, so this is this, and I really like it, I feel like it's super duper awesome, and I've been hitting this a lot, so, and even though I think literally, so this is a perfume, it's not really, it's kind of like a body splash, but it's not like a perfume, so if you put on too much of this, it's really strong, so I just spray it one, two, one, two on my wrist, and look, it's steeping up, so I'm like, okay, and I use that all month, that's like my go-to all the time, and that's what I'm gonna do. This has also been my favorite, these two have been my favorite, my works. I want, I have body I really like this one. This is butterfly flower, and this is just one that smells like a hand soap, and I like it because it smells really normal, and it's been fun to put on hands mostly because this is a mini size one. So, I don't know, this has been my favorite. A lot of people go for scents, but I mean, I'm kind of going to go like I really like this. So, then I have the Maybelline New York one by one volume express mascara. I've gotten into this one so much, and I really liked it. And it smells better than the other mascara, but it doesn't smell good. So, um, I really like this mascara, it's been the best. I've been using it like almost all month. I actually only have three mascaras that I love, but this one has been my totes favorite for December or December. I'm kidding, it's December. You can't pronounce them December. It's December, guys. I should be saying me because I think I'm the only one that pronounces it like that. Also, I've also said I hated this, but now I don't. Like, now I love it. I've been loving the color. I've had it on in like three videos, maybe even. Um, I don't know if I've covered it. But I've hit pan on this and I really, really liked it. And it has a really pretty color to it. At the beginning, I hated it because it wouldn't get enough color out of it. And I really hated that about it. But when I found out when it gets from, when you take it from the like, hard rock kind of thing into the actual eyeshadow, it kind of spread out and like dusty. Then it actually is a good shadow because. I got this at my drugstore for like two dollars because I was there and it was there, so I was like, we're both here. Okay, I don't know. I just got it because I needed it for some for a video. And this is in Disco Diva, and I don't know if you can see it because it's OG finally last beauty favorite. This is the baby lips. I also have the red one um that I actually use. I have like I think I have four. I'm not sure. Okay, so this is in great vine and I really like it. I felt like it's like mm, it just mixes like so well with this, so dark and so winter. So I really been liking this baby lips, and that concludes the beauty favorites. Now my monthly song favorite. I'm gonna give her chuckle by Taylor Swift. Next song is Die Young by Kesha. My favorite, my top one out of 2012 is One More Night by Maroon 5. So thank you guys so much for watching my December favorites. See you in my next video and see you in my January favorites, which might change. Ho, ho, ho. Bye, guys. Hope you guys have the best 2013. See you in my next video next week, next year. I know that's really weird. Okay, bye.